On this episode of Music's Greatest Mysteries, a national treasure goes to war with the tax man. That was mind-blowing because it was the one way he knew that he could get out of it. In 1971, Willie Nelson leaves the Nashville music scene behind for Austin, Texas, where he grows out his hair and pioneers the outlaw country movement. Starting with his 1973 album, Shotgun Willie, Nelson goes on to an unprecedented string of hits and becomes a country music superstar. I mean, Redheaded Stranger is one of the most successful country albums of all time. And you follow that up with Stardust and all these other albums that just keep producing hit after hit. He was making a ton of money. More money than Nelson has ever dreamed of as a boy growing up in his grandmother's shack. He builds a complex in the Texas Hill Country with a 5,400 square foot cabin, a recording studio, and a nine hole golf course. And Nelson is never one to shy away from helping out his friends, sometimes to his detriment. Willie's always been Willie. I've seen him give away tons of stuff. Did people take advantage of him? Yes, absolutely. Because of bad investments and not leaving the right people in charge of his money, he wasn't paying enough taxes. Willie's image as a pot-smoking outlaw makes him an easy target for the IRS, and they hit him with a staggering tax bill. He owed around $32 million. They negotiated it down to 16. The IRS finally agreed to take $6 million in a settlement, but even still, $6 million, I mean, where are you gonna come up with that? Nelson sells his music catalog, but it's still not enough. While Nelson is in Hawaii, he gets a tip that the feds are planning a raid on his Texas ranch. He gets word, you know, hey, the IRS is coming in and he's afraid they're gonna go in and start taking stuff out and auctioning it off to get some of their money. The one thing he made sure did not slip out of his grasp was his guitar trigger. And his guitar trigger I mean, it has holes in it, and it's nasty looking, but that thing's going to be in a museum someday. It's iconic. So he calls his daughter, and I was like, go get Trigger and bring it to Hawaii and hand deliver it to me. And she did. That is a rock star Willie Nelson move. With Trigger secured, IRS agents seize Nelson's property and possessions, but the auction barely puts a dent in Nelson's tax bill. That's when Willie comes up with an ingenious plan to battle the IRS, armed with two assets, his songs and his guitar. There's something outlaw about that, you know, like the IRS and him are in a showdown and he's not bringing a gun, he's bringing trigger. Music's Greatest Mysteries, all new Wednesday, 8, 7 central on Access TV.